So the main benefits of diffusion-weighted imaging are mainly in the field of monitoring of therapy response and prediction of therapy response. Because at the moment, the main criterion for measuring therapy response is the size of tumors, for example. And this is not very sensitive and neither very specific for therapy response. So in the future, functional imaging will be more and more important. We already started using functional imaging in MRI-only scanners in order to predict therapy response. And I'm sure the, one of the biggest advantages of the MR Linux system will be that we can have real-time assessment of therapy response using, for example, diffusion-weighted imaging. The, the use of diffusion-weighted imaging for brain studies on the MR Linux is similar to other uses throughout the body. So we receive functional information from the lesions that we want to treat and we can monitor the lesions over time and extract biomarkers that help us to change treatment parameters, for example, or to modify the treatment in a way that is more effective for the patient. I mean, the big advantage that we see with uh, 0.5 Tesla um, MRI and other hybrid devices, all the opportunities you have with functional imaging so you can really personalize treatments based on changes you see on functional imaging, diffusion-weighted imaging, ADC maps, and this is something that you cannot do with a low-field um, MRI. One of our first cases, we've had a neck cancer we have treated. Um, the patient was treated on a protocol. Um, we have delivered a standard fractionation treatment with um, concurrent chemotherapy, so a standard treatment. And throughout the course of treatment, we did several time points of additional imaging using the unity, um, measuring, for example, ADC, diffusion-weighted imaging, and compared that with a reference scanner, um, a three Tesla diagnostic scanner. And to address the question, what are the changes in diffusion restriction over uh, the period of time? And how does it compare the unity measurements with the measurements at a reference scanner? And what we found is that there is a nice matching of the results. So in this patient, we could observe um, a decrease in the diffusion restriction as a early sign of radiation response. And in future, we will go one step further and use this information in an integrated online workflow to adapt our treatment according to response. <music>